This actually is the barony chair. So the reason why you're here today is we're gonna be doing uh, three illusions with our pilot next students. They're gonna come through here and we're gonna get them three different uh, visual illusions. And based on how they feel, they'll know how to correct when they're flying inside the T6 or the T38. One of the illusions that they're gonna be experiencing is the nystagmus. When they go through that, we're gonna have a piece, either a name tag, that they're gonna focus their eyes on. And as we're spinning them, their eyes are gonna to tend to sweep slowly to the opposite direction because they're stimulating that semicircular canal. Now, once they feel like they can't, like everything else is blurry, we'll stop it. They're gonna try and focus on that little reference point and then their eyes will ping pong back and forth. It's actually a cool effect. The other one that we have is called the Coriolis illusion. It gives them that false tumbling sensation especially when there's two semicircular canals that's being uh, demonstrated. There's, the brain actually gives a false sense that there's a third one being stimulated and that's what causes that tumbling sensation. And as we're spinning them, we have them go ahead and tilt their head the other direction. It gives them that tumbling sensation. We spin them again. Once it feels like they're not spinning, then we're gonna stop it and we're gonna have them jump up. <laughs> Our whole thing, of what we want to do is get them basically spatial disorientation, just teach them the effects of what can happen when they're flying. The last one is called the graveyard spin and spiral. So we take away their sight and their hearing. We have some ear cuffs and it's very quiet. And all we do is any direction that they're going, we have their thumbs going that direction. So if they're going left, their thumbs are going this way, going right and so on. And as they keep spinning, eventually it's going to feel like they're not spinning anymore because that fluid is going to equalize and then we're just gonna stop it, and they're still gonna be going the same direction that they were spinning because that fluid is still going at that same rate. And then we take the blindfolds off and they're like. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanna make sure and harp on that they're familiar with what's going on and to also trust their instruments at all times.